Hello and welcome back to my nail table. So today I have three Madame Glam polishes to show you guys, swatch, and create something fun with. Once again, a big thank you to Madame Glam for surprising me with these polishes. Let's see if we can make something fun with them. So first we're going to get swatching and then we're going to make up a design. Okay, so here we have Dipped in Honey, and we have Lime Fizz. So these colors are from their glass collection. They are jelly and transparent. I did do three coats of each of these to try to get the maximum opacity that I could. And then we have the Manhattan, which is a beautiful shimmery Tiffany blue, which really reminds me of Cinderella and her glass slippers. Gorgeous shimmery blue okay so i'm going to try to create something fun with all of these colors together that they have sent me if i cannot think of something then i will simply create three different looks for you guys so here we go okay so i was thinking something pretty um beach themed when I've seen these colors. So what I have created here is kind of like a uh, flowery ocean. <laughs> so, all right, we have got, I've used the yellow to make a jelly-like ombre with the yellow, jelly ombre with the green, and then I have used the Manhattan color to give it a beautiful shimmery ocean look. So I'm going to be showing you how I created these designs. Okay, so I'm going to start off with our ocean color. I'm going to be taking the Manhattan, and I will be doing two coats of this color. Here is our second coat. Okay, so on my palette here, I do not have any Madame Glam white. So what I've done is taking my Just White from Light Elegance, and then I have added some of Madame Glam's base coat, mixed it together to get a nice milky white, and I will be doing a layer of that on top of our blue ocean nail. And I'm going to try to make it thin so that we can still get that blue through. And make sure that it's as milky as possible. Okay, and so from here, what I'm going to do is take my cup of bubbles, give this a good stir so I can get a variety of bubbles going on. This is just Dawn soap and water. I'm going to pick it up and I'm just going to, see if I can do this in frame, I'm just going to scoop that down onto the nail and then I'm going to immediately put it into the lamp. Okay, and from here I'm just going to take some acetone on my wipe, clean off that nail to remove any of that soap just so that when I go to top coat I'm not contaminating anything. I am going to go ahead and uh, buff the sides right here to make sure that everything is smooth and then I'm going to top coat that and that is going to be our ocean nail. Okay, so for our jelly ombre nail, I'm just going to be taking dipped in honey 
and I will be focusing the majority of the color down at the tip of the nail. I'm going to be cleaning off my brush and then just kind of pulling it back up towards the cuticle area, feathering that in to make an ombre. And I will be taking that and carrying it in my lamp. Okay, for the second coat, we'll be focusing once again on the free edge of the nail so that it is most concentrated down there. Wiping off my brush again and then feathering the product back up into the cuticle area. And then curing that again for 30 seconds in my lamp. So here on my palette, I have dipped out just a little bit of the Manhattan. I'll be taking that, focusing it up at the cuticle area, and then feathering that down into the nail for a nice glitter ombre. Curing that in my lamp for 30 seconds. And from here, I will be choosing which flowers that I would like to have on this nail. Then placing them into my tacky layer. Okay, so what I like to do is hold on to my little female and I'm going to bend it to form it into the shape of a nail to give it that curve. This will help it lay flatter on the nail. And then I'm going to stick that in my lamp for 15 seconds. Okay, guys, so from here, I would recommend that you seal in your design, especially when you're using 3D nail art with a builder in the bottle, but I don't have a builder from Madame Glam yet, so I'm just going to be using their top coat and putting a pretty generous layer down here onto the little Fimos. And I will be holding this inside of my lamp upside down so that most of this product will kind of form around my Fimos. So I'll be holding this in my lamp upside down. Okay, so once again, I'll be taking my palette here and my mixed up clear and white for that milky beach look. I'll be taking that and painting it on the top or bottom towards the cuticle area. Feathering it down onto the nail, especially where the flowers are not. And while this layer is wet, then I will be taking my bubbles once again and mixing these up to get some really cool bubbles. Applying that down onto the nail and getting it into the lamp as quick as possible. So there we have it. Here is our floral beachy look. <laughs> so one thing I do recommend for you guys, if you are going to try to make a jelly nail, I do recommend that you use clear tips or build out a clear extension because that way you're really going to get that see-through look. Um, once again, thank you so much, Madame Glam, for reaching out, sending me three more polishes to play with. It's always fun to try to come up with something together with this set that they send me rather than making three separate videos. I hope you guys enjoyed the video at least, learned something from this. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, whatever you want. I do have a 30% off discount code for all of my viewers, and that will be in the description box down below. So once again, I'll see you in my next one. See you later, guys.